I've had a lot of people ask me how I set up my three-point lighting in Maya. So here's how we do this. So I've got my main model, and then I've got my three lights. I've got my fill light, I've got my key light, and I've got my rim light. Each one of these has its own specific purpose and use in a lighting setup. And so to give you an example on how this works, we'll pull this up. So usually the first light that I will start out with is going to be my fill light. I use that to kind of just get a lay of the scene and figure out where I need to focus. So with this fill light, I've got BD1 here. We can see how the light just kind of evenly lights everything. We don't have too many harsh shadows, but there's enough that I still need to add some more lighting to it. And then what I'll do is I'll pop in my key light. My key light is going to be my most powerful light in my scene. I'm going to provide that extra boost of light. So this is going to give you that kind of two-sided look. Next, I will add in my rim light. Rim light is going to add that nice backlighting that is going to kind of both outline your model, but also just fill in the rest of the gaps. All three of these lights combined give you a nice 360 degree lighting setup that you can then tweak and kind of play with. And then one final thing that I like to do is I will go into my key light and I will usually just kind of adjust the color temperature depending on what I'm looking for. For instance, I just kind of dropped it down and kind of made it like a warmer color. But going back into the scene, if we look at these three lights, my fill light is set to about an exposure of 18. It's also a little bit closer to the model than say my key light. And then there's my key light. My key light is a little bit further away from my subject, but it's also brighter. This is also where I will adjust the color or the temperature of that light to get that warmer glow that I tend to have on some of my renders. And then I've got my rim light. My rim light sits in the back of my model. It sits at about the same power as my key light, but I've made the light bigger and I've pulled it further away from the model. That way I get a more even light coming across, but it's also kind of like if I were to take a soft box and just put it on the light to soften that light and get that nice rim light. And you can see the results are pretty clean. And then I'll just go through this setup and just kind of play with it.